Well, this being the Christmas season, I suppose I should talk about some movie in some way related to Christmas, and with that I give you Better Watch Out. In part viewed because my buddies over at Slasher Movie Review Podcast checked this out, and I figured, you know, this kind of was on my watch list, largely because the poster looked interesting. There's a couple of different options to watch Better Watch Out. There's Tubi, but I actually saw it on Amazon Prime's video Freevee, which is a free viewing service like Tubi, it includes ads, except if you already have Prime Video, you still have to watch the ads. And you know what? I actually regret watching this 2016 Australian movie. And I'll tell you why, but first, check out my buddies CalderaLab.com, makers of the finest skincare in the USA. Use my promo code FRY15 to save 15% at checkout. So we have parents getting ready for a Christmas party, and that means they need a babysitter to watch over their teenage son. Already starting off with a foot in the grave, aren't we? Now you may recognize some people in the cast, the parents, Patrick Warburton, Virginia Madsen, but Olivia De Jong, I guess she was in the Elvis movie, I didn't see it, don't intend to, I thought she looked pretty cute here, and gave one of the better performances. She's Ashley, the babysitter that the uh, young boy Luke really fawns over. And from this point forward, there will be spoilers because I'm telling, I'm not, I'm not kidding around. There is a home invasion, but this is a little bit different. And I thought this plot twist was not bad. Luke and his main bro, Garrett, orchestrated this faked home invasion to scare Ashley so that Luke could save the day and she would fall into his loving arms. But things don't go quite as planned as Ashley sees through this and is cold cocked, shifting our film into the babysitter torture subgenre. Ashley's boyfriend and prior boyfriends are called up and murdered. I actually kind of like the Garrett character, but this kid was too stupid to realize that he wasn't going to walk away from this either. Now, this sounds like stupid fun, but if this was funny, then maybe we could call it a comedy. Shot composition, lighting, Maison Sane, mentioning Home Alone and testing out that paint can to the face. It looks and sounds like a comedy, but it's written like a psychological horror. Cursing abounds to the point that it is no longer shocking. You get a law of diminishing returns with your F-bombs. You use too many and it comes Fuck across you. as lazy. Fuck Frat boy writing. You. This kid, Luke, Fuck who I'm not going to mention because he's a minor and so I'm going to be called a bully here. Or he was a minor at the time, but this kid's just a terrible actor. I hope he has no future because he is not menacing enough to pull this off. He is also about double the age one should be to have a babysitter to necessitate the plot. This film is scarier with a younger child who can't understand right from wrong or at least the audience thinks they may not. A kid with a learner's permit who should be knocking on the door of driver's license, this just doesn't work at all. And to further muddy the waters, like I said, the way this was made looks like we're going for a PG-13, but on paper, it's R. You got the hot babysitter tied up. What do you do? We play true for dare. I get to grope her boobies. Except we don't show that. He kind of leans in and like, how exactly is this supposed to be scary if we can't see what's happening here? And it's not like some shocking reaction either. It takes you out of the movie, making you think, well, Olivia did not sign off on being groped. It's like being told there's a snake in a box, but you don't see it slithering all over someone. But other means of more bloody violence occur off camera as well. And I know this is a kid, but he had no chance in hell of getting away with this. He's not covering his tracks in the snow. He's got blood residue all over him, surely. Maybe Australian cops posing as American cops just do not investigate. Don't let Better Watch Out ruin your Christmas. I give it one and a half out of four stars. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.